Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Throughout the Russia scandal, President Trump has acted flamboyantly guilty, most recently by comparing himself implicitly with Richard Nixon during Watergate, and dismissing informants as rats. And yet a weekend report in Axios confidently asserted that the president maintains a fully innocent state of mind, Trump himself thought then and thinks now that he personally has nothing to lose because he personally did nothing wrong. How could reporters know what Trump believes deep in his heart? They couldn't. Indeed, Axios since corrected the statement to report that it reflects what Trump tells associates, rather than claiming definitive insight into his mind. Yet this practice is extremely common within the news media. While they have dug up an extraordinary amount of incriminating facts about Trump, reporters have also repeatedly leaned into the most exculpatory interpretations of those same facts. For instance, a devastating and detailed Washington Post account of Trump's refusal to acknowledge Russian election interference contained this bit of speculation posing as fact, clouding Trump's judgment all week has been his apparent inability to distinguish between Russian meddling, of which there is overwhelming evidence, and Russian collusion with the Trump campaign, which special counsel Robert S. Mueller III is still investigating, and which the president insists did not happen. This failure to distinguish meddling from collusion is only clouding Trump's judgment if he did not collude. If on the other hand he knows there is evidence that his campaign colluded with Russia, then it is perfectly sensible for Trump to leave Russia's underlying guilt ambiguous. Trump may not be a bright man, but the distinction between actions Russia took on its own and actions the Trump campaign took in cooperation with Russia is an extremely simple one. Trump's apparent inability to grasp it, despite the extensive and well-chronicled efforts of his advisors, might not be a failure of cognition. He might well be aware that his campaign colluded with Russia, in which case, his refusal to distinguish the two is clarifying his judgment rather than clouding it.